Hello and welcome back to the woodshop. Uh, my wife said that I need to start having like a different little catchphrase. What up? It's your boy Hamilton coming at you to you live on this date. Jana, is that what you wanted? So today we are making a salt cellar, which I do believe will turn into a good cellar. I've made a salt cellar before, but I didn't make it very useful, therefore it wasn't a very good cellar. But this salt cellar, I do believe, will sell very well. So I didn't have a ton of inch and a half material in the shop, which is strange. I thought I had a lot, but I do have these two pieces of reclaimed oak. Um, that is actually going to make this carve a lot longer today, but if you were to make just the body and then have a much thinner piece and then make just the lid, then this process would take about seven minutes. But because I'm hogging away a bunch of material to make the thickness of the lid that I need, it's going to take about 26 minutes. Alright, so I just probed and I shouldn't have because the first bit we're running actually is a bowl bit. I got two in my head about making sure that there wasn't any kind of dust in the collet that I forgot that I had to change it regardless. So this bowl bit is awesome. I will have a link for it down in the description. It is one of my top three used bits across the board. I really wish that Cadence Manufacturing would make a bowl bit, hint, hint, uh, but I don't know if that's in the future or not. Uh, 180 inches per minute, a depth of cut of an eighth of an inch. And this thing just leaves a great finish, glides like butter. This machine is super rigid, so you can definitely run it that fast. Um, I don't know, can't say enough about this bit. I use it all the time. But today's project is our first one that we're using two different bits. So this white side bowl bit, and then we'll be doing the rest of all the stuff with our downtown Ginny quarter inch bit. <laughs> So we have our first hole done. This actually goes down an inch and eighth in our inch and a half material. And now that we are done with our bowl bit, let's go ahead and get on to the down cut bit. All right, time for a make timber giveaway announcement. Huntington Builds, who made this, the dust boot holder that sits up here, as well as these magnetic plates, and the magnetic plate holder itself is a supporter of Make Timber. And at the very end of this month, during my live show, he's going to be giving away a $100 gift card to his Etsy shop, which is nuts, which means you can buy that and more. He's also got a ton of other cool stuff on his Etsy page that is listed down below. Now, the giveaway process is going to be a fairly easy one. During the live stream, I'm going to have a chat. So whether you're on computer or on your phone, I believe, you can enter into that chat and then you can enter to win one of the many giveaways that I will be doing. It should be less than an hour for the entire live show. I'm just going to be... Oh my gosh, that double-sided tape today is going crazy. That is nuts. During that time, I'm going to be saying, hey, you can jump in and put hashtag Huntington Builds. And then I will be doing a live drawing. It'll show the randomization going, and then it will pick a winner. That winner will then get in touch with me. That winner will then get in touch with me. And then you will be emailed a copy of your $100 gift card for Huntington Builds. Thank you very much, Huntington Builds, for supporting Make Timber and for doing a very cool giveaway for the live stream at the end of this month. Like I said, his link's down in the description. Go and check him out. Awesome guy who makes awesome stuff for your CNC as well as your wood shop in general. All right, I have no idea how I'm gonna get these out of here. <laughs> All right, okay. I swear, the um, I've never had the double-sided tape stick this much. All the screws are out right here. Um, I don't know what it, what's going on with it today. <sighs> Very cool. All right, 
right, so there you have it. We have our three parts. We have our 3 8 inch white oak dowel, and we've got our reclaimed white oak right here. The base, this is an inch and a half, and I have the depth done at an inch and an eighth for the bowl portion where it's going to hold the salt. I made the hole just a little bit wider for our 3 8 inch dowel, which gave it some nice friction. Now, the way that we're going to be assembling this thing after we hit it with a router just a little bit is we are going to glue the section of wood right here for the top so this is fixed. And then that is just going to freely drop in here and through friction, <laughs> through friction is going to be able to slide. So just some mineral oil in this and we've got our nice little salt cellar. So people call this salt box, salt cellar. It is just something to have in the kitchen where you can have your salt in it. And if you just need a pinch of salt, there you go. You want there to be a lot of friction in here and for it to be very tight. You don't want it to be very loose in here because as you can see, this top is still staying on. Final dimensions, it is four inches by two inches tall. And we've used a 3 8 inch dowel all this is reclaimed oak. If you go out and buy reclaimed oak somewhere, it is anywhere between four and five dollars a board foot. So for this, let's just go ahead and say that we used half a board foot total for all this. So two dollars in wood. I went ahead and did this the stupid way and cut both of these out of the same size material, which means that this cut nice and easy because it's an inch and a half tall, and then I had to clear out an inch worth of material to get down to this. I did it nice and slow, so therefore that entire process of just taking that material away took 11 minutes. If you didn't have that part of the process, you can make this in seven minutes, and that is very reserved feeds and speeds. So $2 plus $7, that is $9. I personally would sell this in person between $15 and $20, online between $20 and $25. This is something that'll ship for around four or $5, so I think that $20 to $25 is very fair. Since the top and bottom are not attached and it's made on your CNC, so it's all very repeatable stuff, you can have this in different types of wood and you can mix and match your tops and your bases. That is another reason why you need to go ahead and assemble this and do the blue tape trick while you're gluing this on because that means that this lid can go and match up with different boxes. So you could have a white oak base with a walnut top, anything in between. You can cut your own dowels out of different species of wood, which will set this aside as a little pop of color. Honestly, little things like that makes your product worth way more. This is a very vanilla version of this, but if you end up going out there and creating your own off of this file, tag me on Instagram. I would love to be able to see it because I do think that this is a salt seller that'll turn into a bestseller. Yeah, that was cheesy, but uh, I'm gonna keep it because <laughs> I like it. 
A massive thank you to all these supporters of Make Timber. They are all listed down below. Check out their websites. They're awesome. I will see y'all in the wood shop tomorrow.